Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbon part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's do a recap on primary, secondary and tertiary carbon. We have studied this in the past, last chapter, but let's do one again because this is critical for us. So based on the number of carbon atom attached to a carbon atom, the carbon is termed as primary, secondary or tertiary. So what is primary? Primary is one which has zero or one carbon attached. For example, this guy has how many carbon attached? Zero. So this guy will be primary. Among this primary as green. This guy has how many carbon attached? One. So zero or one is primary. So this guy is primary. This guy is how many? Two. So not primary, not primary, not primary. This guy, if you see, has one carbon attached. This guy is also primary. This guy also, if you see this carbon, has one carbon attached. This guy also primary. Let's see here how many primary. This carbon has only one carbon attached. This guy is primary. This carbon only one carbon attached. Primary. This carbon only one carbon attached. Primary. This carbon only one carbon attached. Primary. This carbon has four carbon attached. So this is not primary. So these are my primary carbon atoms. The next is secondary. So let me mark secondary with red color. So what are the secondary? Secondary means second means two. So it has to be two carbon atoms. Let's see here. This carbon, if you see it as with one, two, three carbon, this is not secondary. This carbon it has with one, two carbon, right? This is secondary. Let's see if there is any secondary carbon here. No, that's all we have. This is the only secondary carbon we have in this. The next is tertiary. Tertiary, as the name suggests, means three carbons. If you see, this carbon has three carbon atoms, right? So this guy has my tertiary carbon. This guy has four carbon. This is not tertiary. So let's talk about the next one that is quaternary. So quaternary, as the name suggests, has four carbons. This guy is my quaternary carbon. So if you see all these carbons have given, this guy is primary, this guy is primary, one carbon attached. This guy is primary, there is zero carbon. So there's only one change note here. In case of primary, it is either zero or one carbon. In case of secondary, it is always two carbon. Tertiary is three carbon and quaternary is four carbon. Correct? So in primary, we have zero, one. This is little extra, either zero or one. So zero is only case of methane. Methane is the only example where you have zero carbon attached. Generally, they'll have some carbon attached. So zero is part of primary itself. Right? Then you have secondary, then you have tertiary and quaternary. So you see this carbon has three carbons attached, so it is tertiary. This carbon has one, two carbon attached, right? This guy and this guy. So this secondary. Talk about this carbon. This has one, two, three, four carbon attached. So this quaternary. Correct. So if you see this guy has only one carbon attached, so it is primary. Let's take one numerical and primary, secondary, and tertiary carbon. So if the question says in this alkane, identify primary, secondary, and tertiary carbon. So this is my structure. Let me draw this. This is the structure. Let me put hydrogens. So this guy has three hydrogens. So one, two, and three hydrogens. Two hydrogens. And this guy has three hydrogens. Just like this. This carbon has three hydrogens. This carbon has one hydrogen. This is three hydrogen. Correct. Let me number this carbon. Just you can easily remember this: one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Correct. So let's start with carbon one. So what is carbon one? Carbon 1 has how many carbon? 1 carbon attached, right? This is carbon 2. So carbon 1 is my primary carbon. My primary carbon. Correct. Carbon 2 has 2 carbon attached. Correct. 1 and 2. That is carbon 1, carbon 3. So this guy is my secondary carbon. Carbon 3 has 1, 2. Three, four actually. 
right so carbon 3 has four carbon atoms you see 1 2 3 4 so it is quaternary carbon correct the word this carbon i didn't give the number this is a and you see this is why so carbon 8 if you see has only one carbon atom so it is primary carbon carbon 9 also has only one carbon that is c3 atom so that is the primary carbon carbon 4 has one two carbon atoms that is secondary carbon carbon 5 has one two three atoms that is this tertiary carbon again carbon 6 has only one carbon atom this is primary carbon carbon 7 has only one carbon atom this is also primary carbon so with this we can classify now which carbon is primary which is secondary and which is tertiary and which is quaternary let's take one more example so many times i have told you methyl group methyl group propyl group right so what are alkyl groups and this is something which we have studied in the last chapter or some just doing a recap so they are just derived from the alkanes because since we have studied alkane we are studying alkyl group because alkyl group is nothing but a child of alkane so from alkane you remove one hydrogen you get alkyl group for example from ethane you remove hydrogen you get cs3 that is methyl from ethane you get remove one is uh, hydrogen you get ethyl from propane you get you remove one hydrogen you get propyl so this is the structure this is any R group and in that you can attach one alkyl group that becomes RCS3. This is RCS3. Similarly, this is RCS3. There are different structures of RCS3, right? Different uh, way to represent, right? You you want to represent in this formula or this formula, structural formula or the uh, three-dimensional structure. This is the, the structure, but this is the common uh, thing. You have some R in that you attach CS3. For example, you have a benzene and you attach a methyl group. Correct, so the methyl base or toluene, and they have a general formula of CnH two n plus two y because with with an uh, alkyl group has a formula, alkane group has a formula CnH two n plus two, and I told that to form this, what you do? Subtract from hydrogen. Correct, so this becomes CnH two n plus one. Correct, this is my. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.